Hi guys, I'm Sarah from Somatic Movement Center, and I'm the author of The Pain Relief Secret. In this video, I'm going to tell you why releasing your psoas is so important, and then I'm going to link to the most effective exercise to release your psoas muscle. The psoas is a deep core muscle. In this diagram, you can see that the psoas attaches the lumbar vertebrae to the lesser trochanter near the head of the femur bone. The psoas is often grouped together with the iliacus muscle, and together they're referred to as the iliopsoas. The psoas does five different actions, so when it's chronically tight, it can cause a lot of different painful conditions. First, the psoas flexes the hips, so it's a hip flexor. That means when the psoas contracts, it brings your knees in toward your stomach. Second, the psoas laterally rotates the hips, which means that it helps you rotate your legs outward like a ballet dancer. Third, the psoas adducts the hips, which means it brings your legs in toward each other. Fourth, the psoas laterally tilts the pelvis, which means that it hikes your hips up one at a time. And fifth, the psoas laterally flexes the spine, which means that it bends the spine to either side. So, because of all these different things that the psoas does when it contracts, there are a lot of different conditions that a tight psoas can cause or contribute to. Pain, tension, and spasms in the lower back, lumbar disc problems, sciatica, tension and pain in the hips, buttocks, pelvis, or groin, idiopathic scoliosis, functional leg length discrepancy, hyperlordosis, pelvic rotation and torsion, and snapping hip syndrome. If you want to release the tightness in your psoas and relieve any of these conditions, there are two important things that you need to understand. First, it doesn't work to release just the psoas muscle. Tightness in your psoas is part of a larger pattern of tension in the core of your body that can involve your lower back, obliques, abdominals, gluteal muscles, and hip muscles. You need to release your entire pattern of tension if you want to keep your psoas released and get rid of any painful conditions that are related to your psoas. The second really important thing you need to understand if you want to release your psoas is that static stretching doesn't work. Static stretching triggers your stretch reflex, which actually ends up making your muscles tighter, and it doesn't change the messages that your nervous system is sending to your muscles to stay tight. I explain more about why stretching doesn't work and why pandiculation does work in my video, Why Stretching Doesn't Work. The link to that video is down below in the description, and I encourage you to watch it so that you can understand the basic science of why stretching doesn't work. Now I'll give you the link to the most effective exercise for releasing your psoas. In the video I'm linking to, I first talk you through an exercise called the arch and flatten which is an essential warm-up for the iliopsoas release. Please do not skip the arch and flatten. Then I talk you through the iliopsoas release. Here's the link, and it's down below in the description too. When you do the iliopsoas release, make sure to release your leg down as slowly as you possibly can, and make sure to keep your lower back pressed down into the floor the entire time as you lower your leg down. That's what keeps your psoas engaged and allows you to release it. And remember, you need to release your entire pattern of tension if you want your psoas to stay released. You can learn pandiculation exercises that release your whole body in my level one and two courses, which you can see at somaticmovementcenter.com slash learn somatics exercises. And be sure to check out my book, The Pain Relief Secret, which you can buy on Amazon. Thanks for watching.